In this video, you will learn to identify the issue with your LED and rectify on your own, using a simple method. There are two common problems that you may face with the LED, 1. Faulty LED sensor, 2. Faulty LED itself. First, let's learn about the LED sensor issue. As you can see, the LED is not responding to the gesture. In this case, please make sure that the power supply is on. You may also want to check the connectivity issues if any. Please open the top lid by unscrewing using a star screwdriver. Check for loose connections if any. The sensor of the LED is located at the back. In order to open the sensor panel, unscrew using a star screwdriver. At first, you need to check for the proper power supply coming to the panel using a multimeter, power on the multimeter, set the input mode to AC and check for the supply. You should get 23 volts as the reading. Now that the input power is as expected, we need to check if the LED sensor is working. In order to do so, directly connect a wire between these two indicated points by untightening the screws. By doing so, if the LED turns on, we can conclude that the LED sensor is faulty and it needs a replacement. Until you replace the sensor, you can continue to use the LED by directly connecting with a wire. If you need more intensity, hold the wire for a longer duration until you hear a beep sound. To replace the sensor, remove the panel by unscrewing using a star screwdriver and replace it with a new one. You can purchase the new sensor panel at our online store www.confidentonline.com. Now, let's learn about the faulty LED, bypass the sensor by directly connecting a wire between these two points. If the LED does not turn on, you may conclude that the LED itself is faulty or there is an issue with the driver PCB. To check the driver PCB, open the panel, check for any loose connections and also if the fan is working. Using a multimeter check the input power. You should get 18 volts if the LED is working. Now you can see that there is no input power coming from the LED. We may conclude that the LED is faulty and needs a replacement. You can purchase the LED directly from our online store.